Hello, Royal folks. Good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Royal News and Analysis. Before I move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. In case you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now, and don't forget to press that bell icon. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have faced brutal backlash on Friday over Henry's memoir, Spare, with criticism from the media, commentators, army veterans, and even the Taliban, while Buckingham Palace kept silent on its widely leaked contents. Days before the official publication on Tuesday, disclosures from the book dominated headlines and airwaves after a Spanish-language version of their memoir mistakenly went on sale in Spain. Revolutions, including an alleged physical attack on him by the heir to the throne, Prince William, how he lost his virginity, took drugs, and killed 25 people in Afghanistan, have prompted both condemnation and derision. On the other side, Meghan Markle has warned Americans of turning against her in her U.S. because they've had enough of her endless whining and complaints. Last month, Meghan and her husband, Prince Harry, whose new book, Spare, has gone on early in Spain, starred in a six-part documentary series on Netflix. It sees a couple spend much of the series complaining about their alleged ill-treatment from the British press and being able to escape the U.K. for a new life in the United States, where they enjoy more freedom. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex portray a much happier life in their home in Montecito, California, specifically joining the ranks of Hollywood royalty who call Santa Barbara home. Harry and Meghan have made several Bonchiel claims against the royal family, but one Washington-based commentator has warned that Duchess Americans have grown tired of her. Mal Gardner, a foreign policy expert, told Express, It's striking Meghan has very little support from the woke liberal elites who haven't come out in force to defend her. The scale of Meghan's vanity and arrogance has even put off some of her natural allies on the American left. This has backfired spectacularly on Meghan and Harry, and this is not the hit they were hoping it would be. It's alienated the British people, but it's also failed to garner any significant support in America. The American people are tired of endless whining and complaints coming from Meghan. She is divorced from the reality of how American people really live. Americans have no times for her complaints against the British monarchy or complaints of being a victim. Mr. Gardner added the royal family remains hugely loved by Americans, a feeling that has steadily grown since the death of Queen Elizabeth in September. He added the royal family is still very popular in the U.S. and Americans do like the British monarchy. With the passing of the Queen, there was a huge outpouring of grief in America. Every U.S. flag was flown at half-mast for over a week. They love the royal family, and making an attack on the monarchy is certainly not a popular move here. During the Netflix documentary series, Meghan joked about having to curtsy to her late queen after Harry recounted the conversation he had with his wife when he first introduced her to Her Majesty. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex also accused the royal family of ignoring Meghan's cries for mental support and had her feeling suicidal. Buckingham Palace issued a rare public statement, which claims were concerning and would be addressed by the family privately. What do you think about this news, guys? Do you think Meghan is the real mastermind behind Harry's memoir? Do you think Harry's memoir will destroy the last hope of royal return? Write it down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates, like this, subscribe, and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next, <laughs> hasta la vista.